We fall, we break, we fail. But then we rise, we heal and we overcome. A glorious morning to one and all. Myself, Fatima Fiza. We, the students of grade 12A, under the guidance of our dear Nasira Miss, our class teacher and father, Matthew, are presenting before you our first ever virtual assembly. Hope you all are safe at your home with your dear ones. Today, the world is facing coronavirus crisis, a pandemic that has changed our life. This is a temporary phase of uncertainty that mankind has fought against and prevailed over such threats before. Be assured that we will overcome this one too. Despite the dark clouds of gloom, silver lining are emerging bright enough to bring hope and strength. This is what we need to focus on. In times like these, the willpower or hope can be a powerful source of reassurances for us who are locked at home and our heroes who are fighting for us, the healthcare workers including the doctors, nurses and policemen and many more. The reassurance and strength make an extreme hope and strength that we shall overcome this one too. All the power is within you. You can do anything and everything. You just have to rise and express the strength which is within you. So now I call upon Jasmine and Jodis for prayer. in life is not fixed. It can be changed by a weapon called willpower. Now I would like to invite Justin Navas to welcome you all to this virtual gathering. Mind is a powerful force. It can enslave us or empower us. It can take us into the depths of misery or take us to the heights of ecstasy. Good morning to one and all. We, Class 12 Science, is here to bring the first virtual assembly and to start a new beginning. To start this new beginning, I would like to welcome our beloved principal, Father Mati Patpilake. Now, I would like to welcome our administrator, Father Nels. And now, I would like to welcome our dear class teacher, Nasera Miss, who was there through our thick and thin. And at last, I would like to welcome teachers, non-teaching staff, dignitaries, and all my dear friends to this new beginning. Be positive. Have a positive mindset and you can overcome anything. Thank you. Willpower is just like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. Now, I would like to invite Shaheen for a speech. Good morning, one and all. Respected principal, vice principal, teachers, parents and my dear friends. I welcome you all to this assembly conducted by 20. Strength. What is strength? 
Strength is the capacity of a man to withstand any force or great pressure. No one will tell you that life is easy because it is not even close. Sometimes life will be difficult, but it is tough. We should have the strength to overcome it, and every person is going through something. As we all know, in our state, different regions have different problems. Some people are fighting against COVID-19, some people are stuck in the flood. But we all have the strength to overcome it. Besides the proverb, unity is strength, it is more than just that. Because if we look at our history, we have achieved many incidents which you weren't able to get individually. Struggles, challenges and hard time had offered you a much more value than any other time in your life. Think about a time in your life which may have been hard but forced you to become better. So struggle hard, get stronger and be happy. Thank you. Have a nice day. Everybody has got their own talents. So just having talents is not enough. They should be expressed in mass. So to express in mass, here comes Delna with her craft skills. A good inspiring thought can spice up our day and it works like a fuel which keeps us encouraging and smiling throughout the day. So here comes Heba with thought for today. You never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. Good morning St. Joseph's. Mind power is one of the strongest and most useful powers you possess. This power together with your imagination can create success or failure, happiness or unhappiness, opportunities or obstacles. This depends on your mindset. Your thoughts are the main ingredient of this power. And when you add to them focus and emotion, thoughts become powerful and can affect your reality. So, I conclude my words by the reminding of Shri Buddha. No one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. Thank you and have a nice day. A ship without the captain is always incomplete. So here I welcome our dear father Matthew Patipulakar to share a few words with us. Hi everyone. Uh, first of all, a word of congratulations to the class for uh, taking this effort to conduct an assembly. I'd like to uh, quote something that I have read uh, recently. Uh, the best book which I have read was my mother. And it was my father who gave the light to read that book. Uh, we are all at home. When we are all at home, uh, it's our uh, obligation to uh, respect our parents to love them and to be with them. Now that is what we are called for. Actually God has given us an opportunity to be with them. Just think uh, when you are coming to the school, if you were coming to the school daily, uh, you get hardly no time to be with your parents. But now God has blessed you uh, with a lot of uh, time to be with your parents. So take it positively. And another thing, uh, I want to tell you that these days uh, it's an opportunity for us to learn how to ask questions to ourselves. Many a times we ask many questions to others, but there should be few times that we should ask questions to ourselves. Someone has read, uh, written like this, uh, the education is not something that we learn how to answer in hundred words, but rather to ask a question with prudence. That's what, an that's what education means. So I request all my students 
to think positive with regards to the uh, situation of today and learn how to ask questions to yourself. There could be many questions with regards to our uh, uh, the, uh, the present situation, uh, our relationships, our responsibilities, all those things. And also let's be uh, very careful about uh, the time which we are spending. Uh, let's be responsible to ourselves and to our family. See, we are not living alone, but we are living in a society and with our family. So when we are with our family, we should be responsible for our family. Uh, especially when you are uh, attending the class, be responsible for your time and for the time uh, that we are taking from others. See, there are reasons uh, why I am saying all these things because uh, uh, nowadays we have uh, introduced a new platform that is Google Classroom. Uh, many of you are late in uh, submitting your assignments, but I am very aware about that because all these assignments which you are submitting late, I am getting a, a, an indication that so and so people are um, submitting late. So I am re requesting uh, all my dear uh, brothers and sisters, I would like to, uh, I would like to call you like that, because I'm not here as an authority, but uh, like your brother or your father. Uh, so let's be responsible for the time that we are spending with our class. We are getting limited time, even our life itself is very limited. But rather, let's be positive. Uh, let's be responsible to the. Uh, to the society in which we are living, to our family, to our friends, to our teachers. Uh, this is my, uh, you can take it as a message or uh, you can take it as um, an instruction, whatever it may be. That's all for the day. Thank you. Uh, and have a nice day and uh, let's be uh, good citizens of tomorrow. Thank you. Experiments are mediators between nature and ideas. So as we are science students, we are presenting before you an interesting experiment. So I hereby welcome Ashwin Suresh to conduct an experiment. The bubble, inside a bubble, inside a bubble, inside a bubble, inside a bubble, etc. So this is the experiment, let's see. For that we would want just uh, some dishwash liquid, then some water. We can pour this. Okay, so let's just take a little bit. Just spread on the table. Just a bit, bit more, okay? Just spread on. After that, just put a little of this dishwash and just spread it around here. Just spreading it nicely. Just spread it so nicely that it can just spread everywhere and can make huge bubbles. Okay, nicely I have spread it over here. Okay, after that uh, just take the pencil that you want to make the bubble. So only this part I will make it nicely so that bubbles because I have to blow from this side. So I have spread it nicely over here. So now uh, I hope it works. I think it can do it. So let's do the experiment. This much bigger. Okay. Okay, one more one. Strength do not come from physical capacity. It comes from indomitable will, as well said by Mahatma Gandhi. We should always be curious about knowing such personalities. And here comes Nandana to introduce us to such a famous personality. Good morning, Justifieds. You are just your intelligence. These are the words of Kalpana Shamla, the first Indian woman to fly in space. Kalpana Shamla was an astronaut and engineer, was born on 17th of March 1962 in East Punjab. Shamla obtained the Master of Science degree and second Master's and PhD in Aerospace Engineering. She worked in NASA AIMS Research Center where she did computational fluid dynamics research. She joined NASA Astronaut Corps in 1995 and was selected for her first flight in 1996. 
Her first space mission began in 1997 as a part of six astronaut crew of Space Shuttle Columbia Flight STS-87. On her first mission, she traveled 10.4 million miles, logging more than 372 hours in space. She was selected for her second space mission as a part of crew of STS-107. On 16th of January 2003, she returned to space abroad, Space Shuttle Columbia on the ill-fated STS-107 mission. During the launch of STS-107, the external tank of the Space Shuttle was damaged. When re-entering uh, to the Earth's atmosphere, this damage caused the uh, hot atmospheric gases to penetrate and uh, damage the internal wing structure of the Space Shuttle and which caused the spacecraft to become unstable and break apart. Kalpana Chawla was one of the seven crew members who died in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster on 1st February 2003. She was awarded the Congressional Space Medal of Honor and several streets, universities and institutions were named in her honor. She was regarded as a national hero in India. That's all. Thank you and have a nice day. Whenever you find yourself doubting that how far you can go, just remember that that all you have faced and the fears that you have overcome, just don't lose hope and your strength. It's created within you. Now I would like to invite Suraj for a word of thanks. Good morning to all. Today I am standing before you with the duty of thanking you all for watching our Sunday. First of all, I thank our beloved principal, Reverend Father Matthew Patrizakke, for giving us the opportunity to conduct the assembly. Thank you, Father. Next, I thank our beloved Vice Principal, Father Nelix Iyan. Thank you, Father. Next, I thank our beloved class teacher, Nessi Ramis, who supported us to make this assembly a great one. Thank you, Miss. Next, I thank all teachers and non teaching staffs. At last, but not the least, I thank each and every one of you. Thank you.